crowning achievement of my career. It validates the work of a lifetime. It certainly does. Back to you, Tom. All right, we're clear. I'm telling you, man, this shtick is getting so old. That chair smells, dude. Hey, Steve! Brian, perhaps I have not made myself clear. I have been entrusted to pass judgment upon others. Everybody gets called for jury duty, you stupid idiot. I've been called. The only reason you've never been called is that they use the voter registration list, and this past election is the first time you ever voted. Special? Everyone's special, Peter. Rock drummer Tommy Lee! And if your wife ever tells you that you're not special, punch her really hard right in her hepatitis. Thanks, rock drummer Tommy Lee! Hey, you know what else is cool? Yeah, that's what separates us from the monkeys. That and the armed guards at the zoo. Man, they got some sexy monkeys down there. I don't care. Jury duty sounds boring. I'm gonna get myself kicked out. Just like I got kicked out of Coldplay. <laughs> guys, guys, I got an idea. Always making those cocky little hills. Moving around all single file and stupid. All ganging up and walking my pie off the picnic blanket. <gasps> Exhibit B. One semen-covered viewmaster. Uh -huh. With the reel of the Grand Canyon. Uh -huh. And a blood-spattered Mr. Potato Head. Uh -huh. And these socks you really need. Oh. <laughs> Knock it off! Hey, come on, Judge. Tell us the answer. The Mexican guy did it, right? We now return to how he bested on the battlefield, Lionel. Oh, I don't think so, He-Man. Ow! Oh, I'm sorry. Did I punch you too hard? Yes, I suppose you don't know your own strength. I mean, look at your muscles. Oh, stop it. You're the one with the sick abs. God, my mouth is watering just looking at you. Yeah, that's... Them appears to be expanding. Neptune and Pluto have already been consumed, and scientists estimate that the event horizon will reach Earth by tomorrow. That's right, Tom, which means that all life on Earth will be destroyed within 24 hours. Oh, my God! Expanding black hole. As Americans everywhere face their last day on Earth, one can only imagine how they're spending it. Hey, Mort, now that the end of the world is here, I just wanted to say, no hard feelings, huh? Take that, Orion! That's right. Oh, you're a good man, Joe Swanson. How was your first time? Oh, I've had sex lots of times. I just wanted to have it again. <laughs> Screw you! Who else but Quagmire? Well, Diana. And how important this family is to us. Oh, I'm scared. I wonder what it's like to die. I don't know. But from the look in the stray cat's eyes when you're pushing on its windpipe, I think it's pretty terrifying. Like, panicky. Hey, Brian, what do you think is gonna ha- Peter, get off the lion. We should spend some time together as a family. I don't think so, Lois. But the world is ending. We should be spending these final hours with the people we love most. Lois, a day ago I was stuck on jury duty. Today I have a golden ticket to do whatever the hell I want. Gay? People got hurt back then. That's gay. Yeah, it was pretty gay. What the hell are you doing with a musket? Last day on Earth. I've always wanted to save a Native American family from rapacious cavalrymen. It feels kind of like it's a Friday. Peter, where are you going? Last day on Earth, last chance to do this. I'm going to find a black neighborhood and see what happens if I yell the you-know-what word. They respected the Ottoman Empire. Ah, I could get used to this. You know what? This is what I want our empire to be about. The first television broadcast. Of course I love you, Lois. You're the most important person in the world to me. You promise? I promise. Ten. Nine. Eight. I just hate being around the kids. What? Six. Five. Sorry. Live around the holidays. And with only 87 suicides and widespread looting, we think this was a pretty successful practical joke. You dicks! Hey, how do you like that, Lois? <laughs> We're gonna live! Peter, what did you mean by what you said you, you mean? <sighs> All right, you want the truth? They bore the hell out of me, Lois. Bore the hell out of you? They're your kids! I know, and I love them, but don't you just sometimes wish they'd run away or get kidnapped and be made to work in the Temple of Doom? Nah, nah, nah. Think this will all blow over by tomorrow. Morning. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So what do we got? Pancakes? Cool. 
Hey, what's on tap for school today, kids? Shut up, Dad. Because sometimes I can suck them back up. I think we can make up some of these losses in the third quarter. <laughs> what was that? What was what? Oh, nothing. I thought I smelled a fart, but now I don't. Hey, yeah. Uh... Oh, my God, you're Jason Mraz! No, I'm not. I'm just some guy with a hat. Yeah, that's who Jason Mraz is! Hey, boy. My phone's broken. I'm not surprised. It's probably because of all those apps you've been downloading. Don't say apps like you're young. Holy moly, Marcy Miller! She bought feminine products at my dad's pharmacy, so you know she's up and running. Yeah, I wish I had the guts to talk to her. Talk to her? Chris, no one talks to each other anymore. If you want to get a girl's attention... Three. Oh, dear. How'd you get all those cuts on your butt? Wow, they allow drinking here at 10.30 in the morning? Oh, yes, half the bathroom trash is thrown up scrambled eggs. Okay, so this place has hot women, morning booze, and free vomit? Law enforcement woman, part of that great team of Rizzoli and Isles. You don't know what part I play, do you? Hey, look, you didn't marry me because of my brains. You married me because I play one of the main bad guys in Blue Bloods. Now let's just stop talking and have idiot actor sex. Attention, Principal Shepard. We'll make sure Chris apologizes to that little knob tease. I'm sorry, Lois, but it's not that simple. When Chris sent that picture, he was technically distributing child pornography. Child pornography? Joe, that's crap. Good afternoon, I'm Tom Tucker. Today we bring you a disturbing case of child pornography. Local teenage scumbag Chris Griffin, whose name will be omitted here, was caught sending quote-unquote graphic selfies of his hog. Not sure where that quote... Oh, it can't be any worse than our trip to Hawaii. Okay, before you do anything else, I'm deathly allergic to pineapple, pork, rum, macadamia nuts, stupid tiny guitars, overpriced golf, sentimental military stuff, lava, people who I can't tell... Chris G. Hi, Chris. All right, before we begin, whoever's driving a windowless van painted like an ice cream truck, your lights are on. Okay, next, let's take a few minutes to talk about our new fake interests. Here's a clay pot. Very good, Stewie. You grunt like a Hungarian lesbian. <sighs> yes, but we just ordered bisque. How are you paying for that? Well, if you must know, we're putting it on Philippa's husband's account. Does Bert know about this? He would if he wasn't working all the time. Thank you, Brian. Now, come on, let's have more hard liquor and creamy soups. Ugh. Funny thing I had him put on your cake. Happy sixth birthday, Timmy. Uh-oh, they must have mixed him up. Nice crank, you dirty little bastard. Sorry, I'll take that. Here's your cake. I ate a great deal of it. Well, I'm glad we're finally getting some practice in. Yeah, nothing like running around after eating a seafood tower. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be at the baseline. Yeah, baseline. Baseline. Right, right. He's serving to you. Get back there. Mr. Quagmire, I completed that sex rehab and I paid my debt to society, but people are still afraid of me, like I'm some kind of creep. How do I get them to treat me the way they did before all this happened? You can't. I'm sorry, Chris, but you're just gonna have to accept that from now on... ...to have myself chemically castrated. Why the hell would you do that? Now nobody will have any reason to be afraid of me or think I'm a pervert. And everybody can just treat me like normal again. Oh my god, I can't believe my son's some kind of weirdo! Up uh, your door. To be fair, they also have a couple of kaleidoscopes. Aw, oh, can I come? Lois, can I go to the store with that thing? Splendid. I'll go get my burlap wallet. Wow, we rolled three gutter balls on these kids, huh? Exactly where I'm gonna put that trophy. So the baby died? Yeah, the baby died. But look, first place. Chris, your mother and I want you to stop taking them pills. I don't know, Lois. I just don't think Chris is gonna change his mind. Uh, I know. It's only a matter of time before he shaves one side of his head and swoops the rest of the hair over. Why, is that... Is that bad? Good early evening, everyone. I have celebrated. You know what, Peter? Uh, maybe there's a silver line into this fiasco. Not thinking about sex all the time seems to have allowed Chris to excel in other areas. He does seem sharper. Heck, the old Chris couldn't even figure out the self-checkout at the supermarket. All right, Brian, we win this set. The tournament's ours. Yeah, come on, let's do this. I can already see our names in the newsletter right below the deaths from the previous quarter. Man, 
man throwing out a baby and a dog. Tough guy. Maybe I'll see you later when you don't have that name tag on. I thought your shot was in. Oh, hey, pound it, dude. Sorry about that. That was just my dumb, overprotective dad. Really? Yeah. He took my phone to look at pictures of my friends, and he found the one you sent. I bet that caught him by surprise. Definitely. Well, I hope you know that's not who I am anymore. All right, bugs! Oh, good, Chris. You can hang this New York Times back on the... Oh, a pee-pee! Well, Chris, you killed that librarian, but we're glad to have...